Hi, my name is Claire Finkenbeiner. This is my wife, Missy. And we're here to tell you about our, our, our journey, you know, to coming to Lifehouse. So I kind of started with the launch of the Chambersburg campus in 2018. A group of friends and I, we came to that opening day and I was, I was just excited. And, you know, I shared that coming home, like, you know, it was really fun. I think you would like it, but some pushback, which was completely understandable. Yeah, I have a little bit of history where I've really turned from God. I had a daughter that was born and she was with us for two months and uh, she, she passed. I got very angry with God, blamed him. I justified uh, my daughter's you know, passing to make me a better father than I had an opportunity to before. I was blessed then uh, later with uh, you know, my son. You know, um, he's my best friend. Uh, we did everything together and I just had a perfect son. Uh, unfortunately, um, on October, 25th of 2018, um, my son um, made the decision to take his life by suicide. Don't know why. <laughs> I do remember that we had a pastor showed up that morning and I, I, I damned God. Uh, you know, how could he do this to me again? And uh, I just uh, was just so angry. I just didn't know where to go. I was just lost. Missy, you know, continued to, to come to church and, uh, you know, and hearing the messages, <clears throat> hearing the, uh, the music, you know, brought me some comfort that I hadn't felt in, in quite some time. You know, through time and through conversations with Patrick and messages, and he started to feel a little joy. And I could see joy coming back. His death, you know, it brought me to God. And uh, my son, you know, he made me a better person, you know, in his life. And uh, you, you got to talk about it. And you got to keep the memory there. Grief never ends. And uh, I try to tell people that grief is proportional to the love. You can't have unconditional love and then not have, you know, unconditional grief. People can't believe in my strength, and I tell them it's not me. And that me, I would have called it quits a long time ago. It's it's God, you know, and, and God's given me the strength to, to carry the grief with me. You have to keep yourself grounded on what's important. If you're having any, any, any thoughts like that, just talk to anybody, somebody. You're not alone. Everybody needs help at some point in their life, everybody. I know what it's like to be in that darkest of places. I was there when my son passed. I struggled with it, and God brought her into my life to help me through a darkness that I hope many people never, never have to face. Based on what I've faced, what we've faced, what our entire family's faced, um, you know, you gotta have faith. She's the one that, that pulled me to come to, to Lifehouse, you know, to God. And, and I think it's fair to say if we didn't have this Lifehouse family, we might not have made it. You know, Patrick and Nelson, Hilda, you know, all the guys on the security team that I'm, I'm part of, they're like an extended family. I mean, I, I look forward to coming to church, you know, and, and I get here early and faith means something to me now. It doesn't mean there's not gonna be darkness. It doesn't mean there's not gonna be hard times. It just means you're always gonna be able to see, hopefully, that light at the end of the tunnel, you know, to help get you through. 